Mm. Blue Moon Moon Haze and some Jim Bean Black Extra Age Bourbon Kentucky Whiskey. Yes. We're going to get this night started off good. We're going to make a vegetarian stew. Um, we're cutting out red meat from our diet. So we are going to use chicken stock. Um, I ran out of vegetable stock, but vegetable stock does not have enough flavor. So if you use vegetable stock, you have to add extra garlic powder, extra onion powder, extra salt. So instead, I am using my Swanson's Natural Goodness 33% uh, less sodium chicken stock. I'm not going to give up chicken. I'm sorry. I'm a wing lover. I'm a thigh lover. Mm. Thighs. Mm. I love tail too. And of course, Annika loves the gizzard and the liver and the heart. So we won't be giving up. So we're going to use chicken stock. Normally I would use half vegetable stock, half chicken stock for my, uh, my stews. So what we're going to have is our base, onion, carrots, and celery, of course. I've got a mixture of uh, red and purple potatoes. Yeah, a little bit of corn, my uh, flour to help thicken it, and the meat, we're going to use tofu. There was a lot more in that bowl, but I love tofu, so I kept snacking on it. So during the process, I will cut up some more. So for the tofu, what you do is you put it between two plates with some cans on top and you let it naturally compress and get some of that liquid out. You do that for about 30 minutes and it actually gets a little bit nice and dry. As you can see inside the bowl, there's hardly any liquid. So when it goes into the stew, it will absorb all that flavor. So let's get cooking after I sip my beer. So get your, get your pot on to medium, medium low because you want to sweat the, the veggies for a little bit. There's some oil, give it a swirl. And now we're going to sweat our vegetables. Stir. So, as it starts to heat up, you'll see the moisture starting to come out. So now, I will add some salt, and this is actually fine sea salt. Normally, I use kosher salt. This will take about three to five minutes to saute. You want to get them nice, sweat, and translucent. As soon as the carrots get a little soft. We'll move on to the next step. In the meantime, we're gonna have a finish our beer and have another shot. All right, things are kind of loosening up nicely. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of flour. I'm gonna stir this around. So the flour is gonna be the thickener for the stew and just gonna cook out some of that raw flour flavor. Gonna hit it with some black pepper. This is about uh, two and a half cups of stock. And if we need more later, we can always add a little bit of more. Scrape up the bottom as you go along to get some of those brown bits, all that fond off. Oh yeah, so we let this come to a simmer, which will take a few minutes and then we're going to continue on. All right, welcome back, so now we have everything up to a simmer, turn it down a little bit. We're going to add our tofu. 
and our potatoes. We're going to cover and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. In about 20 minutes, we're going to come in and we're going to taste. And then we're going to add some garlic because I really want some of that fresh garlic flavor. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll be back. And we're going to cover it as well. Mm. Now, I'm sipping on Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. You know what? This comes out every Christmas, roughly around end of October. I never bought it, and I love it every year. Every year is a slightly little different beer, but it's really good. So, okay, it's been simmering for about 20 minutes now. Kind of thickened up a little bit, of course. So now we're gonna add some chopped garlic. This is about um, three medium, medium sized cloves and about half a cup of corn. This is, yes, frozen corn because it is December, winter time, December, January time and fresh corn is hard to come by. So this is gonna take about a minute to cook. We're gonna let this simmer for about a minute or so, and then we'll be right back and we're gonna plate it up, or bowl it up, I should say. Cheers. All right, here we go. Vegetarian stew. Well, it does have chicken stock, but. Um, vegetable stock is kind of bland. But we're not cutting out white meat, we're cutting out red meat. There we go, look at all that tofu. And of course, to top it off, you can use your favorite hot sauce. Here's a little bit of um, habanero puree to top it off with. Oh. That is delicious. And so that is just a simple vegetarian kind of stew. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching for uh, Cooking Wild Drum. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Have you made this? Do you have your own version? Let me know. I forgot to mention this is the regular firm tofu. It's not silken and it's not um, gourmet firm or extra firm. Just regular firm. I mean, there's so many levels of uh, tofu you find at the grocery stores. This is just a regular tofu. Um, another recipe I want to make uses the uh, silken stuff which is more custardy, soft, silky tofu. I'm working on that one still. Alright, cheers. You guys have a good night.